And I wonder what the conclusion is going to be. You see, a campaign has been started to save a lollipop man at an Essex school. His name is Brian. He currently patrols the Hullbridge Road crossing near Elmwood School in South Wood and Ferrers. Brian is not going far. He's going to a nearby crossing, which has seen its own crossing guard retire. So they've transferred Brian across. But a lot of the parents are not happy. And Gemma Coleman is one of those parents who joins me now. Hello, Gemma. Hello there. Now, you started a petition to get Brian back. Tell, tell me the back story. How did this all start? Um, like you rightly said, there's another crossing um, further down the road in South Hoodham, and the gentleman there is retiring. Um, they plan to replace it with a two-cone crossing, um, but in the meantime, what they want to do is to take the lollipop man, Brian, from our spot and move him to the other spot, um, which will then leave our spot unmanned. Now, obviously, as parents, we have a concern, um, but Brian obviously has a concern too because he, that has been his spot for over 15 years. Um, he must so... have made... He must have seen so many youngsters go through in that 15 yeah. years, hasn't he? Yeah, generations. Um, he says himself, you know, he's seen some of the children at Elmwood become parents themselves. And then they're now taking their children to the school. Um, you know, he's a very important part of the community around Elmwood. Um, so none of us want to lose him. Now, the decision was made by Essex County Council. Essex County Council yeah. say that the other crossing has a more urgent need. Can, can you sort of understand why it's been done? Um, I think the only difference... I mean, obviously, the other road is more busier. It's... Mm. Um, a wider road, it's more of a central road um, and the speed limit is um, greater, it's a 40 mile per hour whereas ours is a 30 mile per hour um, but the issue is is that Brian doesn't want to move he feels that he has a loyalty to the Elmwood school, he knows the parents, he knows the children, it's been his spot for however many years, why should he move can they not send another replacement to the other spot? Because what will happen is he will move to the other spot and ours will be left unmanned. Well, I was going to ask so, you about that. Have Are they not getting a, a replacement for Brian at your crossing, so to speak? No. They're not getting any replacement? It, no. As we understand it at the moment, there will be no replacement. There was um, the, the stress of all this um, is actually made Brian feel quite ill so he actually wasn't um, in attendance today and they actually provided somebody this morning but we've been told that for the rest of the week there won't be anyone there at all. Look I, I'm going to read you a statement from Essex County Council and then get your reaction okay. to it okay Gemma. Um, we asked for somebody to come on obviously but they said no. Um, so this is from Ray Gooding, Councillor Ray Gooding who's Cabinet Member for Education and Lifelong Learning and I quote all of our school crossing patrols are prioritised according to national guidelines. The school crossing patrol officer in Hullbridge Road is being redeployed to cover a vacancy at the school's other crossing in nearby Ferrers Road, which is a higher priority site. Arrangements will be reviewed again once a new Pelican crossing is installed in Ferrers Road. This should be completed yeah, in 2017. Yeah, exactly. So how long will that take? So why should... Um, one spot be unmanned when if surely if the Ferrers Road is, is a priority why not replace that with somebody permanently until the, the new Pelican Crossing is built why think... should Brian be told that he can't stay where he has been for all these years I think it's a very good question, Gemma. I, I, yeah. I wish I, I wish I knew an answer to it because it seems yeah. the logical thing to do, doesn't it? Leave Brian yeah, where he is, get somebody new in till twenty seventeen. Exactly. exactly, and Brian has been told because he won't move to the other crossing. They now reckon that he no longer um, is needed at that crossing, and there actually isn't a need for a lollipop man there at all. They're now saying that there is a criteria. And that spot doesn't fit the criteria to have a lollipop man. So Brian has been told that his last day is this Friday.
So, so there's, no, so there's not going to be a lollipop person at either crossing? Well, <laughs> that, that does appear to be the way at the moment, yes. It seems to... Um, it seems to go be going a bit wrong at the moment, yes. But I mean, obviously, this is very stressful for Brian. You know, he cares very deeply about the children, the parents, anyone who crosses. You know, other members of the public that crosses. We all know him. Um, he, you know, it's great to see him every day. Um, that you know, he, he has a very cheery nature. He's very helpful, and this is causing him great stress um, to the point where he feels that he feels like he doesn't want to come to. work. He can't physically do it. He's getting anxiety. Um, and this is all because they've asked him to move. And he said, no, I want to stay in my spot. And so and they've said to him, well, off you go. Yeah, now they're saying, well, naturally, if that's the case, we no longer need you. You're dismissed. Gemma, uh, what, if, uh, what effect has this had on the other parents and what sort of support have you got for your petition? So much support. Um, the, the online petition that I started has received over 1,300 signatures since Saturday. There are several paper copies going round to um, the shops and uh, different areas in South Wimferas. They've got hundreds of signatures on there. Um, there's just everyone says the same. You know, Brian's a, a, you know, a, a member of the community. We all know Brian. Everybody knows Brian. We trust him. You know, why should we be denied a lollipop man? I mean, the, the road itself is, is, is very dangerous. Yes, it may be a 30-mile-per-hour road, but there's a coach depot right opposite where Brian, you know, is, is crossing the children. Yeah. There, are, there are two use it as a bus route. It's one of the main roads to the local railway station. Um, there's there's cars parked along the road, which means that the other cars have to overtake. Yep. It's quite a dangerous spot, and we don't really understand why the council are now saying, well, actually, there's no lollipop person needed at all. Where have they come to that con- you know that conclusion? What are you going to um, do? Actually, uh, Gemma, what, what are you going to do next? What, because you've done the petition, I, I assume you're going to hand that yeah. into County Hall, and then what happens? Yeah, um, a few, um, Brian and his wife and um, some other members, um, some of the mums from Elmwood School are meeting with one of the local MPs on Friday. Um, but I don't know what more we can do. Um, you know, apart from, I mean, social media is helping. It's obviously gained interest. Yeah. We've, you know, we've gained interest from yourselves. Essex Chronicle um, are interested in doing the piece. Um, I think we're doing as much as we can. Some of the parents are saying about going down there on Friday um, to try and stage some sort of protest, perhaps, or some sort of action, just to kind of keep the memento going. All right, Gemma, thank you very much indeed. And we're going to keep across this story, I think. BBC Essex Travel.